Well, now, a former Shelby County Corrections deputy was terminated earlier this year after investigators began looking into allegations she had sexual contact with a prisoner. The accused, Akira Jones, was back in court this morning. The judge telling the 20-year-old she must hire an attorney by her next court date. Here's WREG's Dorita Patterson with more from today's bond arraignment. Outside the criminal justice center, the drizzling rain hitting the ground created waves. Meanwhile, there was a wave of concern following an alleged felonious act that resulted in a woman being terminated earlier this year from her job as a corrections deputy. In a statement from the Shelby County Sheriff's Department, December 20th of 2023, the department was made aware of allegations a corrections deputy was having sex with an inmate. A criminal investigation investigation was launched, leading detectives, they say, to corrections deputy Akira Jones, seen here in her employee photo. Unfortunately, after being indicted and charged, she now has a mugshot that brings us to where we are today. State of Tennessee versus Akira Jones, set for bond arraignment, first setting out of custody. The 20-year-old who's out on bond was back in court Tuesday, facing Judge Jennifer Fitzgerald. Good morning, Ms. Jones. You've been indicted in a one count indictment for sexual contact with prisoners, class E felony. Jones is also facing the possibility she could end up in a detention center, much like the one where she once worked if she's found guilty. The judge wanting to know if Jones has retained a lawyer. Do you have an attorney? The simple answer from Jones, she's still working on hiring one. The court giving a little more than a month to obtain defending counsel. Judge Fitzgerald telling Jones if convicted of the Class C felony, she could spend the next one to six years in lockup and she would be required to pay a $3,000 fine. The 20 year old has been ordered back to court May 6th, along with her attorney will be there as well. Reporting inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3.